I, I can remember when I was in my 20s, I worked, um, I'll say somewhere, because I don't want to sort of identify where it was. And um, there were two very predatory males that, that worked there, and because they were a lot higher up than everybody else. And uh, there was one day I was bending over, putting something in a drawer or what have you, and this guy came up behind me and didn't just pinch me on the bum. He literally put his hand right the way around and up the front and grabbed me there, and I ended up falling forward. And uh, my reaction, even though he was older than me and more senior than me, was to elbow him in the face, turned around, and I whacked him. <laughs> I didn't plan to do that. It was just a, a, a knee-jerk reaction. But what I then did say to him was, I know you've been doing this to other younger girls that work here, and if any of them come to me and say you've been doing that, I will do that again, and I will report you. And he didn't touch anything. That's why these conversations that. are so important, to keep it's, on yeah, going, because yeah. there's so much guilt, and if a young person yeah. th yeah. will blame themselves. Yeah. I, I think, this, this, you know, the, the, uh, what we're talking about here tend, is sounding like women, women being harassed. And I yes. think, um, for me, what's, what's really scary is is the idea that you know young children are being harassed and they don't have the strength, the voice, they feel yeah. guilty and they're afraid to come forward. So whether they feel saying Me Too in a hashtag is a soft approach to talking about it, but I think more importantly, they need to be able to approach their parents, a school teacher, yeah. but n not feel guilty. And, um, not feel that they've... Um... Yeah, that's why I say, if it helps you as an individual, I think it's great, but yeah. I just think sometimes when... As a collective. ...something just becomes yeah. like that, it gives governments and authorities mm. the ability to just go, oh, well, it's such a big problem, we're just not going to... Well, it. hopefully well, they say this is level. such a big problem, we've got to do something, because allowing the low level yes. then builds up to the more serious. I think what I find really annoying is when people say, oh, why do these women, you know, they're in their 40s, 50s, suddenly come forward after something that's happened so many years ago? Mm. But once again, it probably happened to them, like it actually did happen to me when I started out in a modelling career, and, you know, actresses have recently been talking about their... Um, uh, assaults and um, as a model, a young model, um, you're being, uh, you're putting yourself up for rejection every day. Mm. Um, so what you really are looking for is for someone to come forward and say, I like you, I want you. And with these young girls, like it happened to me when I was in my late teens, um, uh, I was, had a job with uh, a fashion designer and um, they, uh, they, were, they, they took me on for a particular job. Then they offered me another opportunity to meet some other people at an event that they were going to and would I like to go? And I was like, oh, someone will be interested. I might get some more work. Mm -hmm. And that's what you're out there doing the modelling for. So I went with him and he said, well, I have to stop at my apartment. And I was like, OK, needed to pick something up, went up to the apartment. This is one, of, can I just say, this is one of the guys in the wider group now that we're talking about, yeah. yeah. And um, he had a little bar in his apartment and he said, let me pour you a drink. Uh, will I go and grab my bits or whatever? And I was like, OK. And unfortunately, the next thing I knew, which I don't even remember drinking the drink, but I found myself face down oh, on a bed with him on top of me. Oh. And um, I, I, I could sit on my mum and dad um, because I thought they would be saying to me, what, what on earth were you doing going back to his house? And I, but B was a client that I'd worked with and he promised me to meet other people. And... Um, so I was so just young. naive and, yeah. I, and I trusted him and um, I, I, like with the series Liar, I, I, my, dr my drink was drugged and I can't remember much of what happened. I just know that he was oh, uh, Penny. on top of me and um, enjoying the experience, but I certainly wasn't and um, I uh, don't really remember much more and I, I was too afraid to tell anybody. But you see, for me, darling, the, the, fact, the mere fact that you were sitting on the show and now sharing what is obviously a yeah. very painful experience for me is so powerful for I mean young for girls young out there and watching. mothers if, if you know if your daughter is able to come and talk to you yeah. about it they, they need to feel that yeah. if you're under age or not even under age because any age, any age, any age, this age. but for children in particular because they're, they're, they're frightened and they're, and they're naive I mean I'd never had sex at that point yeah. so it was a frightening thing oh, Penny. and um, they, they have to know that they won't be told off yeah it's not their fault. They're yeah. not guilty. The yeah. other person is, yeah. and they need to be brave enough yeah. to, to tell the authorities. And well done for you for, 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 for coming out. Today.
And then until articles good. like this come out, you're reminded, yeah. and it's so important. But for me, that will yeah. have far more impact because people seeing you and the pain it causes you all these years later yeah. is why this behaviour yeah. will eventually yeah. and get And as, as a woman, and God forbid any man tries it on, trust me, they will, they, they will know about it. But, but, you know, but as a young child, you, you're not... But you're I think not, what you said is so You don't have the tools for it. So many people stand in judgement and say, well, how come they're only saying it yeah. now? Well, as a young teen, you took on all the responsibility, you took on the guilt, you thought that it was something that you'd done wrong mm. and you didn't have... You didn't have the belief that anyone believe no. you. So, you know, it's just... It doesn't matter how long it takes you. Mm. you. It is never, as our campaign says, never too late to tell. Oh, Penny. Yeah.